Hey guys, it's me. Um, I've been re-watching my old YouTube videos for about an hour or so. That's my very exciting, crazy college night for you. Crazy Friday night. I've slowly started spending more time with myself and totally I forgot how nice it is to hang out with me. It kind of feels like, how am I going to become a functioning adult? I literally turned 20 in less than two months. Lately, I have this like huge urge to go on like a crazy journey like the movie Wild or like even how Forrest Gump just runs. And I've been having that urge so much and I used to always think these movies were just about people running away from their problems. I kind of realized they're not running away from something but rather running towards something. In our daily lives, we have issues and obstacles and problems. Translating that into going on a journey, like going, like climbing a mountain. You have to focus on the obstacles that are in your immediate moment and all the obstacles you're facing are physical and then once you conquer all those obstacles it just feels like you can do anything um and you can kind of look back and be like wow i overcame that i climbed that mountain i they're really much more comparable than you may think and dwell in this dream with you let the pain disappear with you Alrighty, so I've recently decided to start getting my life together. I just figured we should go on this journey together as we as we do go on these journeys together most of the time on my channel. Now that everything I own is on my bed besides my really, really, really few amount of laundry that I have left to do, which I know I'm keeping the stuff that's in the laundry, let's get through this. That is my get rid of pile. This is my I don't know, kind of want to keep, but for other reasons than that I wear it a lot. And then this is my keep pile, which is a lot, but it's also my entire closet plus my jackets that is here right now. So this is actually still a decent amount of stuff. It's just I'm still holding on to stuff. I've been starting and finishing my day with quick workouts from the 7 minute app. So excuse the fact that I've just woken up. I'm gonna do some workouts. I'm currently trying to build IKEA furniture, which I just thought is most likely going to be hilarious because not only am I stressed as hell, but I'm very incapable of building things. If I can accomplish this, I'm going to be super proud. So it's kind of my motivation right now is just knowing how proud I'm going to be if I succeed in this. Okay, this is good. And now I need to screw a screw in. I like break this before I even finished. It's just going to be so sad. I think this one's going to be kind of easy. Very nervous about my desk. But I think this is a really good time for me to feel like an independent woman. This is <laughs> this is where we're at right now. I was, in fact, screwing it in wrong the whole time. And that's why I was, it was so difficult. Because I was <laughs> screwing it in wrong, which is just a very good representation of my life right now. But the hardest part is just the beginning getting it in. Because, like, it doesn't want to... Day. I've never in my life put furniture together because I just get super frustrated and angry but I think this is gonna be a very therapeutic experience for me. It's taken me so long to get these to get these in without falling out the other side and now I have to attach it to this huge thing. Boy oh boy do I just have a terrible feeling that I'm as soon as I move these, it is just not going to go well for me and I think they're just going to deattach again and if they deattach again, I really, really, really might just lose it. Please just work out for me. I just built this. Why am I so proud? Oh my god. And I think it's right. It's all, oh my god. I just built a table. Good morning. It's the next day. I went out last night and I'm very tired, but I had a job interview this morning and I got the job, so I am now working at Whole Foods in the bakery. 
which is really fun. I get to be like a barista smoothie juice maker girl at Whole Foods. So can't wait to have people yell at me about putting too much celery in there, green juice, but it's gonna be fun. Anyways, I'm here to finish my desk. I don't remember if I filmed at all me building the desk yesterday, but I am actually so proud of what I accomplished. I can't even, I really thought that I was just not at all going to be able to build this desk, but I did a pretty freaking good job, not going to lie. But um, I just couldn't figure out how to attach this door that I need to attach, but I watched a YouTube video and now I know how to do it. So because of that, we are now finishing the desk. Um, I built all of this even the drawer i just can't figure out how to get the i can't get the bigger drawer in and then i need to attach the door to this i got the door attached i am so proud here's an update on my room i love my desk setup so much i didn't get this in properly my roommate was helping me but it works so we're just gonna leave it like that for now and then my bed is here. I put these pillows on the floor. I kinda wanna make like a seating area around here, but we'll see. And then I've got my bed. And I also built this bedside table yesterday, as you guys saw, which is pretty simple. And I'm planning on covering that whole thing with photos. I think it looks cool. So that's the update. But my favorite part is definitely the desk. I just put this mirror on top of it and I think it works super nicely. Cute band-aid. Right now, I really wish I could just be here in Montana and have a double life. Best of both worlds. That wasn't even intentional. Maybe it was. Who friggin' knows it? Welcome to my TED talk. Hope you enjoyed. Who is she? I don't know. Also, my friend Kaiso cut my hair. Didn't you do a good job? There, oh my god, this tag is still on the shirt. That's what's itching me. Oh my god, I. Good night.